PC Perspective's coverage of the 2011 Consumer Electronics Show is brought to you by MSI. I'm here with Aaron Neal from Corsair. He's going to tell us about the new Corsair Link technology for system control and monitoring. Hello and welcome to CES 2011. My name is Aaron Neal from Corsair Memory and I'm here to show off our Corsair Link technology. Uh, what we have in front of us is the graphical user interface of the Corsair Link uh, hardware software package. Um, what this will entail the end user to do is completely customize all of their hardware um, that can be plugged into our system. Uh, what you're being shown here is a graphical representation of the case that we're using for this demonstration, the 800D. Um, the best part of the software is, is you will be able to customize the background image to match your own system. So you'll be able to change the system image and you can actually upload a photo of your system specifically or use one of the stock photos that we ship with this if you have a Corsair case. Um, what we're showing here is some of the data that is collected by the hardware. Um, some of it is built into your system as you see already. The CPU and NV GPU temps are things that you can already get back from your system. We have that integrated into this to try and be one single system for multiple data points. The other things that are coming back are the temperature from an H60 hardware unit, which has an, a built-in thermistor that turns back into our hardware package. Um, also, our our Airflow Pro system also ties back into the hardware uh, system. You can see fan speed and the individual temperature off of the, the modules that are plugged into the system. For this technology demo, we're also able to see the power usage of the GPU itself. Um, right now, we're just using a splint in between the power supply and the graphics card itself uh, for this demo, but in the future, you might be able to get this data off of the power supply itself, so you would be able to see power used, fan speed, and control, those, uh, control the fan speed from this. Um, the other thing is all the fans that are plugged into the system are also able to be put on the system. So we have our chassis fans here that are also included, uh, plugged into our fan controller and included as part of, the, uh, of the, what you can customize. On our groups tab, it will break out in each individual temperature or zone that you define within the system. What we have here is uh, the NVIDIA GPU temperature, uh, the CPU temperature, and some of the other temperatures brought back inside the case. We also have the thermal group down here, which is wattage used for the graphics card. Each of the devices that you have plugged in for the fan controllers or LED can be dragged and dropped between any of the groups, and that will bind them to that group, and you can control how that specific device reacts based on certain things. This uh, LEDs, for instance, you can double click on them and do temperature controlled, and it will actually change the LED light strips that are inside the system based on the temperature of your case. So as it gets warmer, the lights will change to a red indicating that the temperature is rising. You can also drag and drop a fan to be associated with a specific temperature and have it temperature controlled as well. So at that point, you would go in and you can fix it so that if the CPU temperature goes up, the fan RPM goes up, or if it drops at an idle state, the fan would go back down so you'd have a lower noise in the system. Uh, the graphical user interface also has a standard graphing features um, for this. Um, we show some of the stuff, the CPU and the GPU are shown on here graphed. Um, some of the case fans are graphed. We do have logging that's available for this uh, as part of it as well. Um, and, you, and we do have notifications so that you can uh, pick specific events and have it email you or shut down the system. Uh, those type of options are installed in this. Um, one of the things that we'll show you now is actually for the LEDs, you can do completely custom colors. These are RGB sliders, and you can come up with any color you want to match your liquid loop color, uh, fan color, or other lighting that you have in the system. So what we have is real-time adjustment of the LED lights using our light controller. So right now they're at blue, and with the RGB sliders, all we have to do is change the colors in real time, and the lights will change according to what you want to have in your case. Uh, they can also be temperature controlled if you assign them to a temperature group. Now the hardware is, it consists of a brain um, that all the other data points will connect back to, a fan controller, 
and a light controller. And the light controller will have two separate channels, so you can have two separate uh, sets of lights to do two different colors or associate with two different parts of the system. Uh, the fan controller has both temperature inputs and four pin connectors that you can connect three or four pin uh, any fan case you want to it and it will be able to control it. Um, those will all be plugged into the brain system, which can be, uh, which is upgradable. You can have multiple fan controllers or multiple light controllers plugged into the brain of the system. And that is the hardware that goes along with our software that makes up Corsair Link. You can completely customize everything in your chassis to suit your needs um, and have it do everything you want from one single focus point.